Hi, my name is Diana Dominique, and I'm the Director of Customer here at the Canadian Electricity Association. And today on uh, the Future Is Now series, we're chatting with Terry Lynn Duke, who is a Director of Strategic Innovation at NMAX, and Joval Bota, who's a Senior Engineer of Grid Innovation at NMAX. And we're talking about the Load and Generation Capacity Project. Um, so Terry Lynn or Joval, what was the inspiration for this project? Yeah, thanks for having us here today. Um, the inspiration for this project was really all about being able to respond to our customers and understand what they're looking for uh, when it comes to connecting to the grid. And so those customers, they're changing, uh, you know, and their expectations of working with the utility, they're changing as well. You know, no longer are they going to be patient in, in working with us in, you know, a paper to paper environment. This is really about moving into more of a digital environment. And so we wanted to make it easier for our customers to connect both the traditional load to the grid, but also some of those non-traditional newer distributed energy resources that we're seeing as well. So this project is really anticipating the effects of new connections to the grid. So why is this project important um, at this time? Yeah, good question. So, you know, for us, I think an important part at this time is we are seeing more active growth and interest and have been seeing more interest over the last few years of customers wanting to uh, not just as they traditionally always have um, connect load and generation um, or sorry load, but really also an interest from their perspective to want to connect generation into the grid. So um, an ability for us to improve that connection with our customers and be able to really show them visually a way to more rapidly understand where there's room for their projects on the grid was an important part um, that was becoming more and more evident as time was going on. So Javel, are you seeing or anticipating an increased, uh, increasing interest in DER and self-generation? You know, from our perspective here in Calgary, Alberta, uh, one thing definitely to consider is when we're talking about DR, when we're talking about self-generation, a lot of it really comes down to customer economics and does it make sense to our customers to want to put this equipment in and install it on, on their side? We're always going to have, and, and we've definitely seen customers with keen interest um, that want to get involved and want to really start to move forward with these kinds of technologies independent of, of the price. But uh, if we look back over the last few years where we really started to see an upswing uh, about three years ago, two and a half years ago, uh, was as a incentive was released in the province, which lowered the price for renewable DER uh, and self-generation um, and really what that spawned for us was a significant increase in rooftop solar uh, DR specifically that we were seeing on the residential side significantly. And then also on the commercial side, we started to see larger commercial installations as well of, of predominantly solar PV uh, renewable generation. And this really has led to over the last few years, a doubling year over year um, for a number of years. And this year though, what we're seeing is that curve really start to flatten out as those incentives have come to an end. And also as uh, we take a look at the, the economic conditions here in the province, it's also having an effect. Uh, but I think there is a lot of opportunity for DERs uh, here in the province, you know, going forward as we look to the future, um, definitely, uh, adopt, adoption, while it has slowed, continues to increase. Customers are, are looking at more ways and different ways that they can develop these kinds of projects. And as we look broader at DR, you know, there's other technologies there. Um, and, you know, as a utility too, um, we're definitely looking for how we can further roles and, and help clarify the roles that utilities can play to support customers in exploring these different technologies. Uh, one of the technologies we are carefully watching on our side here too, and, and getting an understanding for is in terms of electric vehicles, Electric vehicles, while they are generating electricity at this time, um, they definitely are having an impact on the grid. And while compared to other provinces, we're still seeing a relatively slow pace here in Alberta, um, but we are seeing it increase over time. And, and one of the things, you know, we've, we've done in this in our company is also look at a uh, really interesting um, project that we've kicked off to understand EV uptake um, through a program that we call Charge Up. And it's just one example of the kind of innovative um, programs and 
projects that we are moving forward here within NMAX, you know, as an organization uh, to really get a better understanding with our customers of where the future is going and help enable them as well as our utility to be innovative and agile as we move forward to the future. That's great. And so NMAX is really, um, do you feel that they're seeing, and I'll move, uh, I'll get your input as well, Terry Lynn, on this, but um, just for you, um, Javel, do you see um, NMAX as being uh, more and more a partner with customers when it comes to um, uh, self-generation, DER, EVs, you know, this, these forward-looking technologies? Yeah, I would say, you know, from our perspective, as of, of course, the utility, utility, we are definitely keenly interested in that relationship with our customers and being able to improve service to them as best as we possibly can. So um, that definitely is leading us down a path to be closer involved and engaged with our customers. And, you know, another example, if I may talk about it too, is we have a, a project um, where we are looking at removing the technical barriers to allowing customers in our more dense urban areas of the city to be able to generate power just like they can in other parts of the system. So definitely that getting closer to the customer and helping the customers take down uh, barriers and, and improve their abilities to get service um, is a key thing for us. That's amazing. Thank you. Um, Terry Lynn, anything, anything else to add? Yeah, sure. I, I I really like that word partnership that you used. I, I think that it is really shifting. It's changing in terms of our approach and how we come together and work with our customers. You know, we use the term in this industry, customer centricity, right? And focusing everything that we do around that customer. At the end of the day, we wouldn't be a utility if we didn't have customers to serve and, and to bring this essential service to. So but what they need from us both now and in the future is really important for us. And uh, we're taking some new approaches where we're reaching out to our customers. We're having more one-on-one -on -one conversations with them in terms of really understanding what it is that those needs are and how they're changing. That's, that's amazing. And um, have the maps, so just shifting to the uh, NMAX um, internally to your organization, have these interactive maps that you had mentioned in your project helped your organization to better understand load, um, DER, and all the complexities related to, uh, to that? Yeah, for us, I think that, you know, what we wanted to really truly understand is when we look at it, integrating these new customer technologies to the grid, you know, is there going to be a point where they're going to start to cause some issues for us? So for, for our system planners, this is all really about understanding, you know, how do we make sure that we're, we're studying that growth and we're studying um, those impacts to the grid and we're creating mitigation solutions well in advance of there ever being issues on the grid. And so absolutely, you know, the, in the background of these maps is, is a, a pretty large and complicated tool that the team's built um, that uh, allows us to understand the hosting capacity of our system, understand where those constraints are so that we can manage them proactively. Mm, excellent. Uh, Joval, anything to add to this question? I think, you know, Terry Lynn did an awesome job uh, covering uh, the major points there, most definitely. I think a point, if, if I can add it, is, uh, you know, there's a ton of the work in the background to really create the numbers and to analyze and, and calculate the values. But there's a really new, interesting perspective that we've gotten from being able to visualize this information through our GIS team and through the GIS maps um, that have been created for this project, which really allows not only customers, but also us as a utility to get a really nice, quick, holistic view of what the effects are on the grid from both load and generation in, in a way we really didn't have before. So I think that's a big win um, for both sides, the customers and us. Actually, can I add a little bit more to that, if that's okay? For sure. Um, one of the things that we've seen on our side is that, that it isn't just helping our customers and it isn't just saving them time, but it's saving us time as well. And so when customers do come and ask, you know, for assessments, when they're adding new load to the grid, it's a lot faster for our, for our customer and our system planners to go and to do those assessments now that we have uh, these, these hosting capacity maps. So it has been really beneficial on both sides. So win-win for everybody all the way around. Yeah, that's yeah. great. So um, I'll start with you, Terry Lynn. Perhaps you've given this a uh, little bit of thought, but what is the one word you would use to describe electricity? Exciting. It is exciting, definitely. Nice. Uh, Joelle? 
enabling. Enabling. Very good. And I have to say that your project is both exciting and enabling. So um, great. And, and thank you very much for your time. Really appreciate speaking with both of you about this, uh, this project. And good luck. Good luck to both of you as well. Thanks very much. Really appreciate you having us here today. Yes, thank you very much for having us. Thank pleasure. you.